Hello everybody, Fuzzy here. In this video I will be showing you how to acquire all mermaid gems even if you are solo slooping. Of course, it also depends on the situation and location of the mermaids. This video was made in response to your requests. As usual, if you have any other requests, please post in the comment section below. Stay tuned. Mermaids are cursed statues that were introduced to Sea of Thieves back in July of 2018. At the time, you were only required to destroy the mermaids so you can complete the Sunken Curse commendations but did not have a gem spawn after you destroy them. As for Shrouded Spoils, mermaids were reintroduced with the addition of three gems, Sapphire, Emerald, and Ruby. Mermaids come in three difficulties, Sapphire which is blue being the easiest, Ruby which is red being the hardest. You will find them either on the shorelines of islands or under the water close to islands. They are never on land, so if you are looking for them, run around the beach and use your eyes and ears. As you get closer, you will be able to hear a deep rumble which indicates a mermaid is near. To increase the chances of hearing the mermaid, I suggest you go to audio settings and turn down everything except the FX volume. Mermaids cause damage if you get too close, so always try to deal as much damage as you can before using your cutlass. Also note that they are still easier to destroy if not underwater. For a sunken mermaid, there are three damaging factors. Mermaid damage, drowning damage, and possible sharks. But above the water, it is only mermaid damage if you are close. Sapphire mermaid is simple. When you see it, whether it's above or under the water, all you need is three shots from the eye of reach, and you are good to go. You can also destroy it with a flintlock, but will take around five bullets. Emerald is a challenge since it generally requires two or more crewmates to destroy. But you can do it! stock up on ammo and bananas. Use Eye of Reach as you swim towards the mermaid, then start hitting it with your cutlass. You will have to eat a banana halfway through, then continue slashing it. The chance of dying while fighting a green one is high, so make it a part of the plan. It's best to park your ship just above the mermaid. So in case you die after destroying it, the gem will float right next to the ship as you get back from the ferry ready to collect. Ruby Mermaid. Now with all honesty, not everything is convenient. If you are solo and the Red Mermaid is deep underwater, unless you know a secret way, you can forget about it. The key to destroying a Ruby Mermaid by yourself is either by gunpowder barrels or cannonballs. It has to be on shallow waters, just like the current demonstration. Try and get 4 gunpowder barrels and put them around the statue. Now I only placed 3 because I was lazy. I proceeded with 10 cannonballs which was a waste. So set 4 kegs and with 1 cannonball you'll be able to destroy the mermaid. You can have them delivered to your doorstep from gunpowder skellies on the same island. Though it is better to pick them up from inactive forts as you hunt for mermaids. Now mermaids can spawn anywhere, but with some logic you can increase the chances of finding them. Mermaids are programmed to spawn around shorelines. So when you go to islands that are divided into smaller chunks of land, it will be a much higher chance to find them because more shorelines equals more mermaids. In my experience, the best route to see the mermaids was to start from Lookout Point, then Shark Bay Cove, Old Salts, Discovery Ridge, Plunder Valley, and Mermaids Hideaway, then sell at Golden Sands. This is also the route I chose to create this video. It applies to islands like Shipwreck Bay and Snake Island. But keep in mind, it's not a rule of thumb, as they can spawn anywhere except outposts and forts. This is just the way I do it if I want to go mermaid hunting. Not to forget, this will also increase the chances of finding lots of random loot. I hope this sums it up for your mermaid needs, don't forget to check my other guides on this playlist. I do my best to provide quality gaming content, so if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button to stay up to date and get my fuzzy notifications. The growth of my channel means better content for you. May the seas offer you generous fortunes.